Okay, Reggie, going into this season, what were your concerns and have the Browns answered your concerns? Well, my concerns going into the season were all offense. You know, you weren't going to have Josh Gordon. Uh, you had a rookie quarterback and a quarterback coming off of a uh, major knee injury and surgery. Uh, there were question marks everywhere. Um, so I thought that the defense would probably play well. The defense would hold this team in there and keep them in the games, and uh, maybe at some point in time they would find some offense. And, uh, of course, um, I was exactly right, right? <laughs> nothing like that. I mean, there's nothing could be further from the truth. You know, it's all offense and no defense. Funny thing about it is you were talking earlier in the barbershop. We can't help the comparisons to the cardiac kids. Now, I know it's too early and not to be disrespectful for what you guys did, but do you see some similarities? Well, you know, I was uh, watching the game uh, – and I've been watching and I've been really into these games because uh, I see a lot of promise here and we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but uh, the football team looks solid to me in a lot of areas. But I was thinking the last, the last, uh, what was it, the game uh, before the Pittsburgh game, what was that? The, uh, no, the, the Ravens game. The Ravens game. The Ravens games. And I said, oh, man, was this what it was like when – we were playing, and, and we were the cardiac kids. And, you know, you feel this thing in your gut, your heart's palpitating, and you're nervous. And just before the Pittsburgh game, I was telling some friends of mine, wow, I haven't felt like this in a long time. I actually feel like I used to feel before I was getting ready to play. So, you know, that tells me, that tells my football consciousness that uh, there's something happening here. There's something special here. There's something going on. And... Maybe indeed this football team and the Cleveland Browns organization has truly turned the corner.